Hi friends, today I will discuss field test. Here I will discuss definition, purpose, terms used, principle, circuit requirements, procedure, analysis, stray loss of each machine, motor efficiency calculation, generator efficiency calculation. So first let me define what is the definition of the field test. It is the test on two identical DC series machines to find the stray loss. What is the purpose of it? To find the stray loss of two identical DC series machines. Number two, to find the efficiency of DC series motor. Number three, to find the efficiency of DC series generator. The terms used in the DC machines. The total loss in any DC machine is given by magnetic loss plus mechanical loss plus copper loss. Copper loss is nothing but field copper loss plus armature copper loss. Stray loss is nothing but magnetic loss plus mechanical loss. Constant loss is nothing but stray loss plus field copper loss. Next, total loss in DC machine is given by stray loss plus total copper loss. So from this we can calculate stray loss is equal to total loss minus total copper loss. Next principle. It is the difference of input power from the supply and the generator output power and it is used to meet the losses of two identical DC series machines. So we can write total loss of two DC machines is equal to input power from the supply minus generator output power. So from this we can write stray loss per machine is equal to total loss minus total copper loss in both the machines divided by 2. Next circuit requirements. So the condition here is two identical DC series machines which are mechanically coupled are necessary. Next coming to the circuit diagram here we have the two DC series machines. This is DC series motor armature. This is the motor series field winding connected in series and this is the generator armature and this generator armature is coupled to the motor armature like this. And here is the supply and this voltmeter V measures the applied voltage to the system. Here is the ammeter A1. This measures the armature current of the motor. Here V1 measures the applied voltage to the DC series motor. Series motor means series motor armature plus series motor field winding put together is called the series motor or simply motor. And DC generator field winding is connected in series with the series motor like this. That means this generator is said to be separately excited DC generator. And this DC generator is connected to a variable resistor like this. And here ammeter A2 measures the output current of the generator and it is shown by IAG. And this V2 represents the voltage across the terminals of the generator. Next procedure. After connecting the circuit like this, apply the rated voltage to the motor as shown by the voltmeter V1. This is the voltmeter V1. We vary the input voltage such that this V1 shows voltage equal to the rated voltage of this motor. Next, adjust the load resistance of DC generator such that DC series motor draws rated current. So this is the uh, 
load resistance of the generator it vary this such that this ammeter shows the rated current of the dc series motor that is nothing but iam next note down all the meter readings meter readings means the supply voltage the motor uh, applied voltage this is the motor input current and this is the generator uh, output current this is the voltage across the generator terminals then analysis let the supply voltage shown by the voltmeter be is equal to v this is the supply voltmeter so this shows voltage equal to v next let the voltage across series motor is shown by voltmeter v1 that is this v1 shows the voltage called rated voltage v1 then ammeter a1 reading this ammeter a1 shows the rated current that is shown by iam next voltmeter v2 reading means this is the voltmeter v2 this reads the terminal voltage of the generator we represent that as vg similarly generator ammeter here this ammeter shows the generator output current called the iag next so using these meter readings now we can calculate copper loss of the motor which i can say pcm is equal to iam square or eam plus iam square or sem so here or eam means series motor armature resistance iam means it is the armature current of the motor or cem means this is the series motor series field winding resistance similarly copper loss of the generator is shown by pcg so this is equal to iag square into rag plus iam square into or seg here iag represents the generator armature current REAG represents the generator armature resistance. IAM represents the motor armature current, whereas RSEG represents the generator series field winding resistance. Here, generator series field winding is connected in series with the series motor armature, so. iam we use that you can see here this is your generator field winding so connected in series with the motor so it carries the current called iam next total copper loss is given by ptc is equal to pcm plus pcg next total loss of the two dc machines ptl is given by input power from the supply minus generator output power that is vam v v into iam minus vg into iag v means it is the applied voltage from the supply iam means it is the armature current of the series motor this is also called rated current of the dc series motor vg represents the generator terminal voltage iag represents the generator armature current next strain loss of the two dc machines is given by pst is equal to total loss minus total copper losses so from this we can calculate strain loss of 
of each machine given by PS is equal to PST by 2 that is nothing but PTL minus PTC divided by 2. Next, motor efficiency calculation. So here we know the motor input is nothing but voltage applied to the DC series motor that is V1 into IAM. This IAM is nothing but the series motor armature current which is equal to rated current. Next, motor output. Motor output is nothing but motor input minus motor loss. So, motor input is nothing but V1 IAM minus motor copper loss is calculated already as PCM minus motor stray loss. Next, motor efficiency is nothing but motor output divided by motor input. That is V1 IAM minus PCM minus PS divided by V1 IAM. Next, calculation of the generator efficiency. Generator output is nothing but VG into IAG. Next, generator input. Generator input is nothing but generator output plus generator losses. So, generator output is nothing but VG into IAG plus generator copper loss is given by PCG and PS is nothing but the stray loss of the generator. So, we know the generator input and we know the generator output. So, we can calculate generator efficiency eta G is equal to generator output VG IAG divided by VG IAG plus PCG plus PS.